good morning everybody uh, our team uh, gautam kundu from mit manipal and myself saman tamkin from chandigarh university have been working on this project akash bazar at first like to thank professor db ifatak to give us uh, such a wonderful opportunity to work on this project uh, akash bazar is an app store for downloading applications developed for uh, akash tablet next slide so here is the road map what we are going to cover for in the presentation uh, what is akash bazar the concept of it and the development the process the how it works and our experience what we learned from here so first uh, we'll see why we needed a uh, um, different our own app hosting site uh, we have google play fdroid aptroid many of those application hosting sites for android itself so why we needed this akash labs has been developing uh, many pro applications which encompass the education system right from schools to colleges and from vocational to edu uh, pro professional courses so this pro uh, this project quite successful and uh, there are many contributors from across the country contributing so this leads to enormous number of applications being developed uh, most of uh, many of them are uh, android based so we needed a store to host all these apps so that uh, all the users could access it download it uh, but then again the question is why not we are using google play or any other app, app store so the reason is that we had our own specific requirements the as we already uh, as i already said that the applications developed were uh, basically educational in nature but uh, the app hosting sites they uh, they have applications of all sorts and the second thing that we had our own specific need to set up a hierarchical hierarchical server uh, this is because uh, a cast tablet has to be distributed to 250 colleges uh, throughout the country and each of these colleges are intended to have their own local server and backed by a main server here at iit this would decrease the uh, this would dec decrease the load on overall traffic on the server Uh, so here is what akash bazar is it is an official uh, akash application repository and a user can access it and download applications from here free of cost the applications here are binaries they are developed from uh, by developers all across the nation and the um, applications are basically targeted for the akash tablets that are to be distributed to the students throughout the country but they can be uh, downloaded installed and used on any device running on android platform uh, so here is the basic difference between the akash bazar and the other app host app hosting sites uh, so here is the difference between akash bazar and other app stores uh, available uh, so akash supports multiple repository lookup system uh, a user can manually add as many repositories as he wants and they will all be assigned priority and the download will be as per the priority assigned so here is a local main server hierarchy uh, local servers will be set up in the colleges and the main server will be at iit which will back the local servers and the uploading apk right from the application itself it is one of the unique features that it has and uh, the views uh, the all the details are cached and they can be viewed offline and there is no need to sign in uh, to install uh, apps uh, but uh, while uploading we have to sign in so here is the development process the akash bazar is basically def, uh, was based on fdroid uh, why we choose fdroid was because the client server architecture that we needed was uh, the fdroid had that client server which best suited us so here is the client the client is basically an android application and uh, it can be installed right away from the uh, main iit bombay server it is currently uh, hosted on the server and uh, as soon as the uh, application starts the local server is connected if there is any problem connecting to the local server uh, the application will ask for the user for the uh, to connect to the main server and if the user responds uh, it will connect to the main server and uh, populate the list of all the applications available from there the user can also manually add uh, add also uh, other repositories also and these app details that are, uh, that are downloaded are cached to view offline um, but the user needs to be online or connected to the local server to install the app server he can only view the details so a, king, a single click of the button installs the app right away and list there is a list of installed apps separate separate list of them and those installed apps that have upgrades are listed in yet another list uh, you one of the unique feature it has is the user can also downgrade 
to the previous versions of the apps that are currently installed. And there is an option to upload apps directly from this. So here are some of the features. Here is how, uh, here are the screenshots that show how to add uh, rep new repositories. And here is a pop-up that shows uh, if there is any local server connection, then it asks the user for to connect to the main repository, which is at IIT Bombay here. Sir. Next slide. So here, uh, here is how the list populates. Uh, there is an available installed and updates tab right up. And there are categories. The user can browse through these categories. And the lists are populated on the left side. And these are the, this is how the detail is showed uh, in the details. OK, next slide. So uh, here we have an option for upload, uh, uploading APK. When we click to the, on the main menu, uh, there is an option, option for upload an APK. On clicking it, uh, here the web, uh, web view uh, opens up, asking for the details and the credentials. And user can submit, browse and submit from his device. OK, the server is the main server is uh, set up at IIT Bombay. The local server is to be set up uh, in all the colleges uh, and universities throughout the countries. And this, uh, there is a hierarchy where uh, application is downloaded from the local server first. And if uh, it is not able to connect to the local server, then the main server is contacted. So uh, app uploading interface is uh, hosted on the main server. That is, if we, a user has to upload an app, the app will be uploaded on the main server. Uh, it will first be reviewed and it will automatically be, uh, be synchronized into the repository. So uh, automatic syncing is available where the main server is synced to the, all the local servers once in a day. That is uh, after every 24 hours. Um, here is the, how the server was set up. Uh, the F-Droid, uh, they have actually provided a good system for, to set, set up the server. There were quite good commands and there were server tools, uh, but uh, the server has to be configured. And uh, the server will again be uh, set up at all the local um, colleges. Then there is a cron job uh, running at the background. There was a cell scripting, uh, which actually syncs the um, up uploaded APKs into the repository of the main server from where they are reflected to all the local servers. And here is the upload, uh, uploading interface that is also hosted in the main server, so that all the uploaded APKs go to the main server from where they are synced. Uh, so this was it. Uh, Akash Bazaar actually it has a uh, local and main server hierarchy, and the application downloads from the local server and then from the main server, and also the uploading and the caching part of it. So here are the problems we faced. Uh, first of all, uh, the F-Troid client, there was no documentation at all for that client. So we had a great difficulty understanding the Java codes because they were also unorganized. There were a lot of bugs in the previous version. The icons would not show properly. The details, they were also not there. And the user interface was quite dull. We had to work a lot on them. And uh, what the other problem was, ki, uh, we had to develop the client application so that anybody, any user who is new to it could use it. So we had to look at it from their point of view. So it was a challenge. And uh, the, so we rigorously tested the application. We had to implement a lot of trials and errors. And uh, of course, the Akash team, they were very supportive. They supported us. And our mentors, Shrikant sir and Sachin sir, they also supported us and helped, helped us lots. We had to be patient. And uh, finally, uh, whatever problems we had, we'll also always Google it. Uh, so here is it. Uh, the, we learned uh, quite a lot about the open source pro open source tech tools and technologies, and uh, next. And the, the, basically, what we take back from here is the qualities, the work culture, and the work ethic, uh, work ethics at IIT. And also, we developed a good coding practice. We were introduced to the version control, Git and GitHub. It was quite useful. And the open source tools, we learned a lot about them. We learned uh, how, uh, how important documentation is for any project, especially because we did not have any documentation for the F-Droid client. So we had to struggle quite a lot with it, again, debugging and testing. And finally, the Akash Bazaar is currently hosted on the IRTB server, and uh, apps can be downloaded from there. And the client is much more simplified. Uh, it has been all, all renovated. Uh, F-Droid was not at all very suitable. So it has been innovated and much simplified. And it is accessible and more simpler. That is it. Thank you. And also, we have a demo to show. So here is our app. 
this this is the list the available apps here on the left side we have all the categories and the list is populated on the right side then uh, when we cl click on the install buttons it shows all the apps that are currently installed on this device the updates currently there are no updates available so it is unpopulated but for all the installed devices uh, that has updates the updates will be uh, available there so there is an option to up update repo and here is the manage repo option uh, in this option uh, here a user can manually set these and select these and browse through them and uh, by default it is set to the local bazaar app repo which will be the site for the local bazaar currently it is a dummy site so uh, to pop up that message to connect to the itb if you upload it repo it tries to connect to the local server it does it cannot connect so this is an error message and if you press okay uh, it will connect to the main server and populate the list from there here it check the compatibility and populated the list and we click on the akash bazaar here are the screenshots and this the, all this thing is cached now so if we i open this akash bazaar again it will not fetch the server it will right away show it from the cached view and then here is an upload apk interface a user has to log in i i am currently logged in so it it didn't ask me to log in again so we browse the package name we enter it here um, and uh, we submit the app here like this uh, one question what happens if there are no local servers does it work sir it automatically connects to the main server then but uh, there is a hierarchy to be built uh, that everything can be done yes sir okay the reason i am asking is so many tablets have been distributed right, to places which have no open server mm -hmm. no local server so it will work without a local server it right? will work without a local server what is the rollout plan sir actually uh, it is intended to set up a local server and no no that's why i asked uh, it can be rolled out without a local server it can be of that course. was my first question right sir okay. now what is the rollout plan sir uh, no, i will tell you the reason okay lot of these apps are being loaded before delivering akash okay mm -hmm. once i have akash bazaar okay, the logistic function becomes extremely simple i don't have to load any damn thing okay so it's extremely urgent and cost effective Okay, for a lot, save a lot of work. It will roll fast. Let me answer this question. They don't know. It's beyond their rank. Uh, so this is something that we have been working for quite some time. Actually, this was the uh, original idea came from Srikant Patnaik and uh, uh, Sachin. Sachin. Uh, are they here? Ah, Sachin is here. The F Droid was something that we experimented with locally. Frankly speaking, Evroid is not actually a bazaar. Evroid is an underlying piece of software which permits you to maintain uh, versions and other things. And the reasons why we needed this was already known. Uh, unknown to them and unknown to this team, there have been some other projects, MTech projects, which have successfully developed a synchronization mechanism which will automatically synchronize contents between uh, one main server, let's say, at IIT Bombay, and n number of local servers, actually directly going even up to the Akash tablets if possible. We use the open source utility rsync, and there are a lot of developments have been done. It's not in perfection, but the idea is that we would have a server in IIT Bombay, and we would have an individual local server in each of the colleges which are partnering with IIT Bombay in this effort. There are about 312 colleges so far. But there are 5,000 engineering colleges in the country. And tomorrow, these tablets will go even to high school children and junior college children. So there has to be a mechanism for them to automatically load these apps. And that's the reason why Professor Aute was asking this question, whether if there is no local server, whether it will work or not. The implementation actually works. It so works have you up. tested it like that by creating a hierarchy uh, and local server yes, and, had, and, and it works it properly? Works, it works fine. You, are, you are comfortable? Sir? So when can we roll it out? Right from today. Right from today? Right. Good. So you have the responsibility of rolling out right from today. Uh, the way uh, to do it is to tell my uh, uh, team which handles remote centers to inform them about this. This is the first 
immediate practical utilization of the summer intense work. Thank you so much.